startling number of attempts to scam the elderly in the past week has Better Business Bureau sounding the alarm. That's why Dale Dixon is joining us this morning. Good morning. Happy Monday, Dale. Good morning. Absolutely. Well, you were contacted by uh, an adult who said that there was one woman who could have lost a big ton of money, right? Absolutely. So Adult Protective Services gave us a call and said they have been receiving calls over the past couple of weeks at an alarming rate from people who have been the target of a scam. And in one case, they felt really fortunate that an investigator had been in conversation with this woman and had discovered that she had, through the bank, wired and through the postal service, mailed about $9,000 wow. uh, th through this scam. And so the investigator went to work and did a fantastic job of grabbing a hold of that money. They went to the bank and were able to recall the, the wire transfer. They were able to go to the post office, grab a hold of that package before it shipped, and in total saved the woman $9,000, which was huge. And we're uh, glad that investigator was, was on top of it. Yeah. And situation. That is huge. I wouldn't want to lose $9,000. <coughs> no. So, but we know it involves the mail and wiring and stuff, but what exactly yeah. is the scam that, that gets people to send money? You know, it's a scam that we've talked about in the past, and it is simply you get a phone call and the person says, hey, you've won a car. All you have to do is pay the fees, pay taxes, pay a shipping fee, those types of things, and they'll talk people into giving up, giving up the money in order to get a hold of this supposed car that they've won. And it's really sad when people do do that because we, we know that usually this is not the case. And you said the, the investigator was really on top of things. Exactly. But we know that's very rare and not the case that's when rare. people get their money back. Because he, here's the deal. The scam artist will have the conversation with the intended victim to say, listen, it's really important you keep this secret. Don't tell anybody because people will want to take the car away from you and they'll try to scare the victim, especially if they're disabled or elderly, and like and we have in this situation. And so oftentimes... The intended victim is never going to say anything, and nobody around them will know. And that's why it's so important for people to be asking questions, paying attention to what's going on in these situations, so that they look for the signs. If you're, somebody's being secretive with their mail or just doesn't want to talk about money at all or, or anything, then that should raise some red flags that there might be something going on. Yeah, so it's a good thing this woman did bring it up, and you always yeah. have tips for us, too. For the better business Absolutely. Bureau. Have a conversation with your family members. It's so important, especially the elderly. If you have somebody who's disabled, a loved one, um, have the conversation and always be aware. Be on the lookout for those warning signs that they're keeping something secret or that they're, they're having problems paying bills or anything else like that. They could be the target of this scam. All right. And more of that you can find at BBB.org. We're going to Absolutely. link to that for you at our website, IdahoOnYourSide.com. So always good to know these things. And, man, that one woman certainly is lucky. Absolutely. All right. Thanks Definitely. a lot.